ancient indian paintings shadanga of indian paintings painting alekham occupies the fourth place among the 64 arts enumerated by vatsyayana in his kama sutra while concluding vatsyayana has written a shloka which amply indicated that painting was fully developed during that period and the six limbs of painting shadangas enumerated in the kama sutra were already in vogue these six limbs of indian paintings are rupbheda the knowledge of appearances pramanam correct perception mention and structure bhava action of feelings on forms lavanya yojanam infusion of grace artistic representation sadrasyam to achieve similitude in his creation varnika bhanga artistic manner of using the brush and colors chitra sutra since early times the art and technique of painting were carefully studied and put down in the chitra sutra of the vishnu dharmotara purana this was an oral tradition which was recorded on paper around the 5th century ad it is the oldest known treatise on painting in the world as always according to the ancient indian tradition in which knowledge is considered sacred this text is meant to be approached with reverence chitra sutra says that the paintings are the greatest treasure of mankind as they have a beneficial influence on the viewer chitra sutra contains the rules and suggestions on how to depict different themes effectively the proportion of human figures the use of colors to help in the communication of ideas the fine details of movements and stances of the human body in different situations and in different moods and so many other ideas and details to instruct the painter these were carefully formulated to be passed on from father to son over the centuries and through guilds of painters the purpose of this documentation was to preserve the legacy of the collective understanding of the finest minds cave paintings murals and frescoes jogimara cave paintings the paintings which were created before the ajanta and bag caves belong to pre buddha caves The best example of the pre-Buddha paintings is the Jogimara cave which is situated at Amarnath near the origin of Narmada in Sarguja in Chhattisgarh. The paintings of these caves have been dated from 300 BC to as back as 1000 BC. The roof of the cave has some 7 paintings which include the human figures fish and elephants there are two layers of paintings in it the original paintings are of expert artists but the upper layer has been done by incompetent artists in true sense the jogimara caves seem to be the first human endeavors as expert paintings murals of ajanta Ajanta is located about a hundred kilometers from Aurangabad, in the horse-shoe-shaped gorge of the Vaghura River in the Sahyadri. The paintings of Ajanta are known to be the fountainhead of all the classic paintings of Asia: murals, miniatures, and frescoes. Murals are large works executed on the walls of solid structures as in the Ajanta caves and the Kailashnath temple. Miniature paintings are executed 
on a very small scale for books or albums on perishable materials such as paper and cloth. Fresco is a technique of mural painting executed upon freshly laid lime plaster. This implies that the fresco is done on wet plaster and that is why it is more durable work than mural. Murals are painted on already dried surfaces. The early murals of India were painted by guilds of painters. The themes were Buddhist, Jain and Hindu. However, the dharma or duty in life of the painters was to create their art, to continue the legacy of their ancestors and to present visions of life which looked beyond the veils of the material world to the divinity which underlies the whole of creation. Ajanta paintings, murals or frescoes. The mural paintings of Ajanta are not all frescoes, as they are sometimes mistakenly described, for they were not painted on wet lime plaster. These murals were executed with the use of a binding medium of glue applied to a thin coat of dried lime wash. Below this surface wash were two layers of plaster covering the stone walls. The first was a rough, thick layer of mud, mixed with rock grit, vegetable fibers, grass and other materials. The second was a final coat consisting of mud, rock dust or sand and finer vegetable fibers which provided a smooth surface for the lime wash on which the paintings were made. The artist got his colors from the simple materials that were available in these hills. For his yellow and red he used ochre, for black he used lamp soot, for his white he used lime. Only for his blue he used lapis lazuli which came from Afghanistan. These simple colors were blended to provide the numerous colors and subtle hues which are seen in the Ajanta paintings. Ajanta Caves The monument of Ajanta has 31 caves which were excavated in the horseshoe-shaped gorge of the Vagura River into phases. Ajanta caves can be classified into two phases namely the Hinnina phase, uniconic, and the Mahayana phase, iconic. Hinnina is the earlier phase when symbols were used to worship Buddhas compared to the later Mahayana phase when he was worshipped in the physical phone. The first was around the 2nd century BC and the second was between the 4th and 6th centuries AD both phases of the excavation and the creation of art were patronized by Hindu kings, the Satavahanas in the early period and the Vaktakas in the latter period. Hinnina Buddhists did not believe in making any figure of the Buddha. Instead, they worshipped symbols such as the stupa and the wheel. The large body of surviving, magnificent paintings were made during the 5th and 6th centuries. By then the Mahayana form of Buddhism had evolved, in which the Buddha is represented in human form and worshipped as a god. Mahayana Buddhism also believes in Bodhisattva, beings who are on their way to enlightenment and who would help all of humanity to attain salvation. The paintings of the 5th and 6th centuries at Ajanta mainly depict the Jathaka tales. These are the stories of the Buddha in his previous lives when he was still on the path to enlightenment. 
These stories depict the qualities of a virtuous life and are told to serve as examples for the followers of the Buddha. On the ceilings of the caves is the depiction of the teeming life of the world, its flowers and fruit, the animals of the world and mythical creatures. Padmapani and Vajrapani The Padmapani, the bearer of the lotus. This gentle figure is one of the masterpieces of Indian art. The Vajrapani, the bearer of the thunderbolt. The glorious figure portrays the majesty of the spirit. Ajanta's central position in art of Asia. In the art of Asia, Ajanta owns a supreme and central position. There has been an unbroken tradition of painting in India, which began at Ajanta 2200 years ago. The legacy of Ajanta moved along the trade routes to inspire painters in Afghanistan, Central Asia and China and from there to Korea and Japan. The paintings of Ajanta are one of the most valuable treasures of the art of the world as they enshrine a sublime and compassionate view of life. Other cave paintings in India To the external world, Ajanta caves are probably the only examples of Indian murals. However, it has been proved that the tradition which was started at Ajanta was actually started way back in ancient times. And it did not end with Ajanta, but carried forward by people of different faiths at many parts of India. The creative impulse of Ajanta is seen in many other contemporary sites in India as follows. Cave paintings at Bagh located on the bank of Baghani River in the Dhar district of Madhya Pradesh. These rock-cut caves possess the most amazing paintings known to be made by ancient man. Out of the initial nine caves, only five have been extant. The legend says that these caves were established by Buddhist monk Datka. The caves were carved in late 4th century, 6th century AD. Bark caves are known for mural paintings. Murals of Bagh certainly represent golden age of Indian classical art. The walls and ceilings were to be painted were covered with a thick mud plaster in brownish-orange color. Over this plaster there was done lime priming and then paintings were laid. This is also known as tempera technique which refers to use of permanent fast drying painting medium consisting of colored pigment mixed with a water-soluble binder media. At the time of discovery of the Bagh Caves, only cave number 3 and 4 had endured the ravages of time. Almamlai Cave Paintings located in Velo district of Tamil Nadu Almamlai Cave is known for a Jain temple with ancient paintings, petroglyphs, and rock art. The cave has three parts with walls of mud and a dome, turning it into a complex of three shrines, Trikta. The cave belongs to 8th century AD. The ceiling and walls of the cave are covered with beautiful color paintings depicting the stories of Jainism, many of them don't survive to date. These paintings are similar to murals in Sittanvasal cave, which is located 250 kilometers south of Armamlai cave. Western part of ceiling is adorned with floral designs, with lotus as dominating motif, similar as in Sittanvasal. Paintings at Badami, 
there are very little survives of the mural paintings in the caves of Badami in Karnataka. The paintings of Badami are among the earliest surviving in Hindu temples, just as the paintings at Ajanta and Sittanafsal are the earliest Buddhist and Jain murals. The caves at Vatapi were fully decorated with murals, many of them were inspired from Puranas. The most surviving murals include the paintings of Shiva and Parvati, as well as some other characters. The painting style is close with that in Ajanta. The cave number 4 has a mural painting of Adinatha, the Jain Tirthankara. Pitlakhora The caves of Pitlakhora are located near Elora, in Aurangabad district of Maharashtra. Pitlakhora caves belonged to once upon largest temple complexes of Buddhists in India. Today it is known as largest group of Hinayana Buddhism monuments in India. Bhaja and Kanheri Caves The Buddhist caves of Bhaja and Kanheri in Maharashtra and those of Kela were also painted profusely. Paintings from the 6th century to the 10th century are found at Elora. Bhaja Caves located at the valley of Indriyani River, near Lonavla in Maharashtra has 22 rocket caves that were created approximately 2200 years ago, circa 200 BC. These are one of the oldest surviving examples of rock-cut architecture in India. These caves are known for their ornate facades. There is an impressive Chatya, Cave 12, though the most of the caves in Bhaja are Viharas. Apart from the sculptural wonders, Bhaja caves contain the paintings of Buddha. Due to the nearness to Kala caves, the Bhaja caves are sometimes known as Bhaja Kala. Kanchipuram The Kailasnatha Temple at Kanchipuram has the remains of exquisite paintings of the 7th century. The Pallava kings of Tamil Nadu gave exuberant and glorious expression to themes of Siva in the temple of Panmalai and Kailasanatha in Kanchipuram. The walls of the Pradakshinatha, the outer ambulatory path, of the Kailasanath temple were once covered with paintings of brilliant colors. Their traces are still discernible and provide us a view of the excellent art of that period. Sittanafsal The Jain Caves at Sittanafsal in Tamil Nadu also have beautiful paintings of the 9th century. Mural Paintings in Brihdisvara Temple Tanjavur The Brihdisvara Temple of the 10th century at Tanjavur has another exquisite body of work. There is a mural painting of King Rajraja Chola and Guru Karuvurar in the Brihdisvara Temple, Tamil Nadu from 11th century. This is the earliest royal portrait in Indian painting. In keeping with ancient traditions, the Guru is given importance and the king is shown standing behind him. Murals at Virupaksha Temple, Hampi The ceiling of the great Virupaksha Temple at Hampi is covered with paintings of the 15th century. As in the paintings of the past, the themes are mainly religious. There is a deep intertwining of the story of the Vijayanagar Empire and its kings with the stories of the gods they believed in. Along with epic themes, we see the procession of the revered sage Vidyarane.
Kuda Caves Located in Raigad district of Maharashtra Walls of caves were plastered with earth and rice chaff Several caves contain traces of paintings Lenyadri caves Lenyadri caves are also known as Ganesh Lena Located in Pune district of Maharashtra Lenyadri contains nearly 40 rocket caves Lenyadri caves have preserved traces of ancient cave paintings and inscriptions